Welcome back kids. Today we're going to add a little functionality to my machine that I've been missing sorely since uh, I switched from the Shiboko Pro. Uh, currently my machine when I start the carve it does not turn on the vacuum on its own and after the carve it just comes back to the XY the original starting point for this project and the spindle turns off and it just sits right there. What I want it to do, turn the spindle off, and then go to the back of the machine uh, and park out of the way. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, I'm going to show you how my machine uh, behaves now. This is what we're going to improve today. But basically, I'm just going to come out here and cut that circle right here in the air. And then it's going to come back and I'll show you what I don't like. All right, spindle's on. And notice there's no vacuum coming on. Should be, but there's not. All right, it's going to cut the circle. It comes back to the XY, which is also my G55, stop. Spindle turns off. You know, that's all well and good, but it can be better. And that's what we're fixing to change in the post processor. So let's get back over to VCAR Pro and get started on that. All right, we're back in VCAR Pro. There's my circle vector that we just cut on the machine. Uh, and the first thing we got to do is find out which post processor we're even using. So the best way to do that is to just create a tool path, which I did here. And when you go to save that, uh, it'll show you what your post processor is. And uh, mine is the ATC arc inches. And I think the only other option I had uh, when I set mine up was the ATC arc millimeter, which Homie, don't mess with no devil math. I, I don't think so. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> I stick to Imperial. So, all right. Anyway, that we know that's what we're using. Well, let's go in there and see what that looks like. So we can go to Machine, Post Processor Management, and scroll down here to find our post processor, which is Masso ATC Arts Inches. And over here you see this, you can just click on that and view. Now, if you don't know anything about G code, just like me, you're gonna to have to learn at least some of it. And I've learned quite a bit today uh, in preparing for this video and to make my machine <laughs> make these changes that I really want it to make. Uh, but basically, this is the G code within the post processor and it's just telling it to, you know, wrap it to the X, Y, where it's gonna start and G20 right there, that just means we're not using devil math, we're using American math. And down here's where we, need to pay attention. That M6, that's the tool change. That's where it's starting out to give you a chance to change your tool. It's going to turn the spindle on. M3 is spindle on. Then it'll proceed to the tool path. And when it finishes that, let's see, I don't remember what G94 is, but that's irrelevant. But anyway, all right, so we now we've cut the circle. If we go to the bottom of the uh, post processor, in the footer, this is how the machine ends the car. It rapids back to the original XY, which we saw that, which is also my G55. The M9 command is what turns off the vacuum slash coolant, I believe is how it is uh, on the Masso. But as you saw, 
Mine never had anything to turn the vacuum on, which would have been a M8 up at the top would have turned it on. But for whatever reason, this is saying M9 to turn it off. And then you got your M30, which is just the end of the program. It's shutting the, uh, the spindle down. You're through. End of story. Now, before we go any further, one thing you do want to do is save this original file, your original processor. Like, pause the video if you have to, but let's just stop. Save this. And I'll just show you how I did it. I just, uh, no, I'll show you. Select all, copy. And I've already got my notepad open down here. And it has my original post processor. This has not been modified by me. Oh, here's the one that I did modify that we'll go over in a minute. But we're just going to save another copy of the original here. So I've just got a blank text document. I'm going to paste that in there and then just save it. And I think it, it'll save it as a text file, but that's fine. Uh, it has to be a .pp post processor file in order to work. But you can still salvage it if you have the text file. So you would just go here, file, save as. You know, we all know how to do all that. So let's skip that. <clears throat> all right, so we're back in the original post processor. There's our M6 that uh, was the tool change. There's our M3, which started the spindle. And then down here at the bottom, there's the M9 that turned off the vac that never was turned on, and then there's the end of the program. So what we got to do, this is the revised one. All right, I've got them side by side. Here's the original. Nothing fancy, just the bare bones minimum to get the machine started, make the car, and turn it off. Here's the uh, one that I've modified. And what I added was, uh, you see, we still had the M6, which was the tool change, and the M3, which turned on the spindle. But in here, I added the M08 that was missing from the original. We go back here and look. After the M3, it just went on to the tool path. But by adding the M8, that turns the vacuum on, or coolant. Then the tool path starts. All right, so that was that's much better. And then we don't like the way it ended, so we we'll go down here to the footer. Let me bring up the original footer so we can compare here. <clears throat> All right, here's the original M9 turned off the vacuum that was never turned on in the first place, and M30 just shut the machine down. It's through. All right, here's the new one. The M5 turns the spindle off. The M9, which was there before, it's still there. Now it actually has a vacuum to turn off. The G30 is telling your spindle, go park, get out of the way. So in my case, I have mine programmed to go to the back of the machine, out of the way. M30, same as before, shuts everything down, it's finished. So... I've made those changes, so now we have to save this, so you just go up here and save, and it will save that as a post-processor file into your list of post-processors, and we can confirm that. Uh, we named mine ATC Arch G30, and I added the G30 because that's the parking command. Uh, that's, <clears throat> that's just how I differentiate this one from the original, but anyway, let's go here and confirm that. So we go to File. Open application data folder. And then one of these days it'll open up. There it is. And there's your uh, post processors and my post processors. And we just opened this up. So there's the original. And there's my new one. And then to start using the new one, we would go back over here and just change it to the post-processor you want to use, like there's the original. 
Here's the one that I did, the G30. Start there, save that test circle. Post processor stuff. We're gonna save this. It's circle test. We'll just call it new. <clears throat> save. All right, now we're gonna send it over to the Masso. All right, and there's the one we just did, circle test new. We're just going to take it over here, drop it into Masso, and send file. Boom, just like that. So let's go over to the machine, and let's run this new file and see how much difference it made. All right, we go into the F6 to load the file. Circle test new. There's the one we just sent. Load it up. Go to our F2 and rewind and circle start. When I do, we're going to see the difference that this new pro post processor made. Circle start. All right, spindles on. Vacuum came on. Finish the car and shut the spindle off, retracts, and then goes back where it belongs, out of the way. How cool is that? Much better than uh, before. All right, now I'm going to show you how to say edit and save your post processor. Uh, I'm re-recording this because I wasn't happy with the first one that I did. So here we go. We're just going to go over here to Machine, Post Processor Management. Here's our list of uh, post processors that we looked at earlier. we got to find our Masso in here. And there it is. Masso ATC Arcs. Uh, there it is. Inches. That's mine. That's the one that I've been using and the one that we wanted to modify. And to do that, you just click over here and customize. And it's asking me if I want to override it. Yes. <clears throat> now, just because I said I wanted to override it, which sounds scary, the original is still down here. Fortunately, they dummy proof that so you can't just you know if you screw it up you still can always fall back on the original but here's the one uh, that we're going to open up and work on so here we're going to open the file location which is in the my post processor file and this is it right here so in order to edit this we would just Double click it, open it up, and we're just going to change one thing on this one since it's just uh, for demonstration. But right here is that SM3. This is where the spindle turned on. And then it went straight to the tool pass, but we wanted it to uh, turn the vacuum on first before it went to the tool pass. So we just insert the new uh, line of code here and the new line is M08 and then close that with a quote Then we'll go up here file save you don't have to do save as because if you do a save as it's going to try to save it as a text file that don't work it's got to uh, be saved as a dot pp a post processor file since we're already in the post processor, we just go up here, save. And just like that, we have edited and saved this new one. And we could even change the name. I'm not going to now, but you know how to change the name of a file. So let's just um, get out of this. So, and, and to know that we did, that we're looking at the same thing. Well, that just now changed to 1.59 p.m., but... Uh, 
we did that at 158. Just compare your time and your date. If that is a revised copy. And to use that one now in the uh, in VCAR, let's close out of this. Close. When we go in here to save our our tool path, once again, now the post processor thing is empty. It was empty. And now we have to choose. And you only have to do this one time. But there's the original. We know that because it doesn't have the little pencil icon out beside it. That, that will always be there. Thank God. Here's the one that we just edited. Uh, we turned on the uh, vacuum with the with the M08 command. And here's the one that's my final, the one I'll be using from now on unless I discover something else that I'd like to change. But Yeah, but we would just choose that one, the one we just did. Save that toolpath with, you know, using this new post processor. Save it wherever you uh, save your stuff and send it to the Masso and run it. And it will run as that new command in the post processor. So if we just uh, sent that one to the Masso and ran it, the only thing it would do different than the original would be turn on the vacuum after the spindle and before the actual tool path. But there's no need in doing that. I've already demonstrated that. But that's how you do that. And it is scary, you know, if you did screw up and mess up the original post processor, that could be bad. But from what I'm seeing here, they've made that impossible uh, because that original is always going to be there. You could just create a copy, which is basically what I just did. And you know, make changes, but you, then you're just operating from a copy, not from the original. So that's how you do that. And that's it for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and continuing to watch. The, my channel is really starting to take off. I'm getting close to 500 subscribers, which is just amazing to me. Uh, I appreciate y'all. I really do. I hope you'll give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got a lot more great content coming. Uh, plenty of ideas. So thank y'all again. And I'll see you on the next one. That's it for this video. I, uh, again, hope I was able to help you, uh, with shit. <laughs> oh, me.